Just a dream. Even in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed verses. Morning. M morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, I just... I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because I had a dream too. Oh yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. I think he made it up because I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek, but we had to play his dumb game instead. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry. I'm gonna study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. We should play a game together sometime too. Sure, Yona. Hmm. What's up, Popola? Oh, hi. I just got a strange letter in the mail. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the Forest of Myth. It's a wooded area up north. The Forest of Myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Oh, well, all right. Thank you. It sure is quiet here. Such silence bodes ill. There's trouble on the way, I'm certain of it. You know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Such cheek. Beware. Beware. The words. The words? What do you mean? Contagious words. Those who dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. There is a strange new sensation in my mind. It is not quizzical. What's going on? Perhaps we should start by asking this man. Uh, who are you? We heard something happened to this village, so we came to see if we could help. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. In your dream? Now see here. Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes. I think you have. In other words, we've caught the death dream? Ridiculous, preposterous, completely unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, fool. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Our vice does not engage in meaningless conversations. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated gas bag of a narrator. It has demolished it utterly. I was doing no such thing. Just leave me alone already.
Oh, thank you so much. Now I can finally return to a normal life. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. For a sealed verse, that didn't take much effort. Yes, all a touch too easy, if you ask me. It's almost as if someone was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink advice. The death dream certainly is a strange illness. Yeah, it was something all right. Even I, with my natural love for words, have no desire to visit that place ever again. You guys did well. You've been making a lot of long trips lately. Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. I can't just sit around all day while Yona's sick, after all. If you say so. So, anything I can do for you? Well, I suppose there is one thing I could use a hand with. Have you heard about our plans to repair the canal? The work probably won't happen for a while, but once it's done, we can use the canal for trade and travel and all kinds of useful things. Unfortunately, however, we're a bit behind schedule at the moment. If you're willing to help out, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. What do you need? Great. So, the man I originally asked to help on this project hasn't shown up for work in a few days. I'm starting to get a little worried. So, maybe you can head over to Seafront and check up on him? I'll mark the location of his house on your map. He always carries a red bag over his shoulder, so he should be easy enough to find. Got it. Um... Hey, uh, are you the guy who's supposed to help repair the canal? Popola sent me to... Oh god, it's over. My life is over! Surely you must realize nothing good can come of being involved with this particular endeavor. Easy, Vice. Hey, so, are you alright? What happened? It's my wife. She left home a week ago and hasn't come back. I'm so worried I can't even focus on my work. Oh, my sweet dumpling, where are you? Wow, that's terrible. Would you like us to help you look for her? Really? You do that for me? Sure. Er, but do you have any idea where we should start? Hmm. Well, she always used to enjoy drinking at the tavern with her friends. All right, then I guess we'll start with them. Thank you. This means the world to me. Oh, and by the way, my wife always carries a red bag, just like mine. If you mention that, it might ring some bells. I've met some odd couples in my day, but none who felt the need to wander about flaunting matching luggage. <laughs> you need to get with the times. Coordinated outfits are all the rage. Plus, these bags are special. We bought them for our anniversary. But now my sweet dumpling is gone. <laughs> and it's all my fault. Okay, okay, just stay calm. We'll go look for her, all right? You sit tight. I'm willing to bet that man knows more about his wife absconding than he's letting on. Hey there, I'm, uh, looking for a woman carrying a red bag. Are you now? Interesting. Did something happen to her? She hasn't been home and her husband's worried. Do you know anything about where she might be? <laughs> Trouble in paradise, is it? Oh, those two never change. Anyway, the short answer is no. She hasn't been around here, either. Though, come to think of it, she always got on well with the woman over at the tackle shop. Maybe you should try her? I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, what's the rush? You've got a cute face. Why not sit here and join me for a round? Or three? Uh, sorry, ma'am, but I'm not old enough to drink. Hey there, do you know a woman with a red bag by any chance? A red bag? Oh, sure. Although now that I think about it, I haven't seen her in a while. 
Last time she came around, she mentioned something about leaving town. But I figured it was just idle talk. Leaving town, huh? All right, thanks for your time. If she has truly left this charming hamlet, finding her may prove most difficult indeed. I just hope she hasn't been attacked by shades or anything. Something about that shade seems rather odd. Hey, look at this. It is identical to the red satchel carried by the man who sent us on this mad quest. Perhaps it belongs to his spouse. Oh no. Do you think the shades got her? I fear it likely, lad. I sense no other activity in the immediate vicinity. We were too late. Well, this is terrible. What are we supposed to say? However difficult it may be, we've no choice but to tell the man the truth. Hey! Did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. Oh no! This... this is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh God, how could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because, because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. about oh, oh you found my bag thank you so much i can't believe i went and dropped it like that oh, this is such a relief <sighs> okay seriously what's going on i see so you found a shade with my bag and assumed i'd been attacked and killed I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling, but I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Oh, uh, hey, I have to go pick up a fish from the fish store. I can't believe you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. Ugh, you are the absolute worst! What?! Oh, like you're some perfect angel! You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag! You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Wait, you're asking me? You shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Uh-oh. Did I cross a line there? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. Ha! You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there! My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon? But, madam, I... Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. 
Big talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? This is exactly what I hate about you. Fine, hate me! I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you! Vice, what do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it. I have had enough. Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great! Well, I sort of wanted it to be <laughs> a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. <sighs> I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, looks like they made up, so... All's well that ends well? In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal! We... I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. All right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. Goodness. It sounds like the canal repairman had quite the problem on his hands. I'm glad everything turned out all right. Thank you so much for your help. Don't mention it. I'm looking forward to seeing how the canal turns out. If you need anything else from us, just say the word. Thanks, guys. Hey, wait! Huh? I almost forgot. Yona is looking for you. Huh? She said she needed something from you. Time to go play Big Brother for a bit, huh? I guess so. Thanks, Popola. Yay! You're back! Popola said you needed something? Yeah. A favor, actually. What is it? Um... I can't help if you don't tell me, sis. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ready? I'm ready, Yona. I need you to help my friend. Your friend? Yep. I have a friend. And we've been writing each other letters. Seriously? A pen pal? How delightful. So who is this friend? Um, well, he's kind of... He? It's a guy? Yes, and he's sick and in a whole lot of trouble. And I know that you and Vicey are the only ones who can help him. Vicey? Tell me about this guy. He lives in this really big house down south. And he's super nice, and he's my friend. So you have to help him, please? Yona, listen. Great. Now what do I do? Fine. I'll see what I can do. Yay! Thank you! Great. Yona's got a boyfriend. Is something amiss, lad? Your voice is trembling. No, it isn't. Shut up! 